Measurements and proportions. Whenever we work with measurements, it's important to have a conversion chart nearby. There's usually one in the back of your book. There's usually some online. And if you're taking the GED, there's usually one even on the GED test in one of the covers of the test that you can refer to. We'll often need to change from one unit of measure to another, and writing a proportion is one of the easiest ways to convert units. And the conversion factor is a multiplier for converting a quantity of one type of unit into an equivalent amount as another unit. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. That's a conversion factor. So take a look at this. Bob has a cell phone plan that only allows 1,200 minutes each month. So how many hours is this? Well, we start by writing a proportion. Hours divided by minutes. And it's going to equal 1 over 60, because 1 hour is 60 minutes. And that's going to equal x divided by 1,200. We keep the hours on top and the minutes on the bottom. We solve for x by cross-multiplying. We can cross-multiply these. It can also be written as an equation as 1 times 1,200 divided by 60 equals x. Now, this is really important to know this, because sometimes on the test, it won't ask you the answer. It'll ask you which of these four or five choices would be the correct equation to answer this problem. So it's really important to know what the equation would look like. If we cross multiply, it would be this 1 times 1,200 equals 1,200, and then 60 times x equals 1,200. If 1 times 1,200 equals 1,200, then 60 times some amount equals 1,200. That means we have 1 times 1,200 equals 60x. We could do it the algebra way, and because this is a coefficient for x, we could divide both sides by that coefficient 60. 1,200 divided by 60 is 20. 60 over 60 is a 1. That gives us 20 equals x. We have to make sure we answer the question that was asked. It asked us, how many hours is this? Well, it's 20 hours per month. Look at this one. If a 2 by 4 piece of lumber is 3 and 3 fourths feet long, how many inches is this? Well, the conversion factor is 1 foot equals 12 inches. We write our proportion, inches over feet, 12 over 1. It's going to equal x over 3 and 3, 3, and 3 fourths. We need to solve for x. So that would be 12 times 3 and 3 fourths divided by 1 will equal x. That's the correct equation. We can cross multiply. We can put them over 1. We can put this 12 over 1 so it's a fraction just like this x over 3 and 3 fourths. 12 times 3 and 3 fourths is going to be equal to an amount that 1 times something x is going to be equal to. We change this 3 and 3 fourths into an improper fraction. 3 times 4 is 12 plus that 3 numerator is 15 fourths. Now, we can just multiply straight across, can't we? But, in order to keep from having to do a lot of reducing, we can cancel out. We have a 12 here and a 4 here. How many 4s are in that 12? There's one 4 here and three 4s here. So we have a 3 and a 1, and we cancel the 12 and the 4. Now we just have to do 3 times 15, which is 45. We have no simplifying to do. See? Now we can also convert that 3 and 3 fourths to decimals. 3 and 3 fourths is 3.75. Then we can multiply that by the 12 inches that is in each foot, because that's how many feet we have. And then if we multiply this by the 12, that'll tell us the, the inches. And we just do our two-digit multiplication and get a 45. And we move that decimal point over two spaces, because there's two spaces, two hops over in the equation we get 45 inches long. But it's really important to know what the equation would look like. So if that's on your test, which equation would solve this, then you would know. See? All right, so that's measurements and proportions. And I hope you're having a great day. Keep trying. I'm really proud of you. And I'll see you next video. Okay? Bye.